Hi there, this is Navjot Kaur and welcome to my PhD life. I know many of you might have been wondering where are the new episodes of the Science Chat show, what's the next theme that we are up to and guilty as I plead, I have been extremely busy wrapping up a few important stages of my PhD and hence I've not been able to shoot much episodes of the Science Chat show recently. But ta-da, we are back now and this video is the second theme announcement for the Science Chat show. Now that we have heard graduate students in the first theme, we had Saili Jangam from Imperial College London, Tapas Patient from Stanford University and Ashdeep Singh from Indian Institute of Science Bangalore sharing their graduate student journeys, how they realized they want to do a PhD, how they got into PhD programs, what was their background, where did they come from and what are they doing with their lives today, what is the research that they're doing today. So if you have missed these episodes, quickly go back to the Science Chat Show playlist and watch them. I am sure you will get tons of knowledge and experience sharing in these episodes. Students who are looking to make international PhD student applications, you will get a lot of tips from the episode with Saili Jangam and Tapas. So go ahead and watch them. And if you already watched them or you are already into a PhD program, then an important and crucial struggle that most PhD students go through is that what do they do after the PhD? Do they want to get into industry and have a role of a scientist or some sort of an R&D profile or should they go for postdocs and get into academia and many people know it from the beginning and that's how they carve their plan but many even when they know uh, get after they get into the program they see a lot of things get exposure to a lot of different kind of scenarios and that might change the decisions that they might have taken when they joined the PhD. So the second theme of the Science Chat show is going to focus on research career options after your PhD and we'll start our conversations with talking to people who are in industrial roles. So people who are in research profiles in industry and they'll share what their experience has been after being in a PhD program for say four or five or six years, they went out into the industry and have been doing industrial roles. There'll also be guests who have done a postdoc, which is also a sort of academic experience after your PhD. Many people do industrial postdoc also. I'll try if I can find guests from that profile also. And then they would share now that they are in their industrial research positions, how does life look like? What are the kind of things they do? How do they feel that their academic positions and environments were different from the kind of positions they are in the industrial environment? Then I will also have guests who are currently doing their postdocs. So that will give you experience and a flavor of what a postdoctoral researcher does. What does their day and life look like? What are the kind of decisions that they have to make? And how does, the, how does that phase of your life impact other life possibilities that might be going around you in that phase? And of course, we'll also talk to people who are in academics. I'll try to get a mixed flavor. So I'll try to get some faculty members who are pretty new at their job just finished their postdocs and joined or you know have been in the role of a faculty position for three four years and then more experienced faculty members who have grayed their hairs in the job and they can give us perspective on you know how they have seen things throughout their career over the years and what has life, life been like for them. So let's start the second theme by talking to researchers who are in industrial research profiles see what their day looks like what their work looks like how did they take this decision of getting into industry and not academia and how well has it panned out for them. So stay tuned for an upcoming episode of the Science Chat show and the guest will be, shh, I'm not revealing that yet. See you in the next episode. Take care.